This shot looks so familiar and I cannot pinpoint where it's from. Fast and Furious maybe? But if it was Fast and Furious, it would be a little more chaotic or violent. But it's so peaceful here that I'm not sure Fast and Furious is the right movie. Looks like it's Fast and Furious after all. Just kidding, if you guys can't tell from the title already, these are the cars featured in the Barbie movie in GTA. If you're new here, I'm NPC. Sadly, I was not in the Barbie movie. Big loss for that film because they would have made even more money with me in it. But starting us off, we have the Coquette Blackfin, which is supposed to be the C1 Corvette that Barbie drives. I've got this in a pink primary color with a white secondary, just like Barbie. I wasn't able to throw on the white walls, unfortunately, on the tires because I don't own a Blackfin myself. This is a borrowed one. But this is Barbie's primary car within the movie. She's seen driving it in multiple scenes and yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty Pretty easy to recreate in GTA. I don't know how good the car sounds in real life, but the Blackfin in-game sounds so nice. I'll boost the sound here right now. Oh, that gives me chills. That's so nice. The Blackfin, unfortunately, is no longer available for purchase because it was part of the vehicle selection that was removed by Rockstar with the Mercenaries DLC. But if you're able to get your hands on one, I do think it is worthy of a garage slot. The car cost $700,000 and will unfortunately probably never be on the website again for the rest of GTA 5's lifespan. So if you see it in the LS Car Me or Simeon's shop, I would highly recommend picking one up. Up next, we have the DeClassy Walton L35 serving as our GMC Hummer EV because that tr truck does not exist in GTA Online. There are other trucks. There is a Hummer, the Mammoth Patriot, but that is old. It's like an old, old Hummer and it doesn't have the body shape of the GMC Hummer EV. So I decided a truck would be a better option. And the Walton, I think is a perfect substitute because it has that purple side livery, unfortunately no lightning, but I think this is the closest we're gonna get to Ken's GMC Hummer EV within Grand Theft Auto. I have this in an aluminum metal with this purple livery. I've got a matte black secondary color for the bull bars on the front and the back end to match a little bit the smoothness of the Hummer. And then black side steps as well. Unfortunately, there's no skirts that really lower the Walton or make it appear as if it's lower to the ground. And then lastly for the rims, I threw on Challengers because I thought it added some nice extra detail and also gave us the tire thickness to match the Hummer. Lastly, the retro truck bed helped recreate the shape of Ken's Hummer, how it's slightly elevated and really smooth on the back end. And that's about it. Let's move on to the next one. Up next is the hippie van that was showcased in Ken and Barbie's picnic scene. I've got this in an ice white primary and a fister pink secondary color. I think the pink that they use is a little bit lighter, but I don't have a custom pink. I think this is the closest one of the three pinks available in GTA right now. And then for the rims, if you haven't noticed, they're a little bit brighter. That's because they're in a salmon pink and I was able to throw the white walls on these, which looks really nice. We have the flower power livery on this, which is they're ginormous flowers compared to what's on the Barbie van, but it's the only flower livery that I could throw on while also keeping the car pink because there is another option that I can show you guys in just a second here where you can throw on smaller daintier flowers like what's on the Barbie van, but then it turns the entire van blue. Just like this. Very, very sad. And we don't have smaller flowers, but I still think this one looks pretty nice. It fits the aesthetic for sure. And the last feature that I threw on was the roof rack because there's some kind of something. There's something on top of Barbie's van. I couldn't tell if that was like a portable pool or if it was, I don't know, like a place to sit or, or what, but I think the roof rack was the simplest option. If it is a pool, there's also options for surfboards on this, which is slightly relevant. <laughs> oh my God. Looks like I was right about it being fast and furious after all. If you guys are looking to pick up the BF Surfer Custom, which is the van that I based Barbies off of, you can find it under the four-door section of Southern San Andreas for $442,000. Fair warning, it is 
insanely slow. Like, it is mind-blowingly slow. You might be able to go faster than it on a bicycle, but it's got a ton of really good customization and looks really pretty sitting in a garage. I did also forget to include the price of the Declassy Walton L35, which is $1.67 million, and you can find that under the two-door section of Southern San Andreas. I really like the Walton. I definitely think it's a good purchase. It's got cool customization, and it's overall a really nice truck. Up next, we have the most basic evil villain chase car, which is the Albany Cavalcade, serving as our Chevy Suburbans, which was uh, what was used in the Barbie movie. I don't know what makes this car so appealing for villains to drive, because it's, it's quite a nice car. Like, I would say it's a pretty luxurious vehicle, and I don't know why it's like a grunt bait like they're gonna destroy these because villains always lose but it's a pretty nice car and it's really easy to find in gta the albany cavalcade you can find it off the street and it's a good looking vehicle and barbie is seen getting into one of these in the movie the only place to find the albany cavalcade currently is by pulling it off the street it used to be sixty thousand dollars on southern san andreas unfortunately it is no longer there but at least it appears on the street because there's definitely vehicles with worse fates but that's it for number four let's move on to our last and final vehicle and our last and final vehicle that appeared within the barbie movie is well it's not the lamborghini urus it's the chevy blazer ss ev unfortunately that car does not exist in gta there's no gta version of that there's no cars in online that were based off of that vehicle. So I did my best to replicate this image right here. Uh, it's kind of got like Lexus LFA lights, if you guys know what I'm talking about, where they kind of drop down on the sides. And I think the vents on the back of the Urus kind of make it look similar. And then it's just like a blue SUV. It's definitely the most scuffed one on this list, but I did my best to pick something that I thought replicated that car well. And the Taurus is kind of a fire vehicle. It's a really fast SUV. It's got four doors. It looks absolutely beautiful in my eyes. But here we are once again at the beach. But that, my friends, is all of the vehicles that appeared within the Barbie movie in GTA Online. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below, and let me know what movie you would like to see featured in the next video. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. There will be more videos like this coming out in the very near future, and that's about it. So take care, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace!